friends and people waiting for part two. Uh, this is what we got so far. Today we're hopefully going to put the firewall in, the grill, the seats, the doors, the roof and the engine. So it'll be a good laugh, won't it? So, right, we've still got to do quite a bit to the uh, to the wheels. Drill it all for the bumper. Uh, tail lights. Why does that look like it's leaning in? We got one wheel leaning in here. Get on with it, is it? So, right, I've done the grill, but I wanted to put the the thing. So I nicked this out of the kitchen. So shh, don't tell anybody. What I'm going to try and do is set that up. We got that on there. Can you see that, my friends? Uh, that's not too bad, is it? You know, it'll do. It's going to do. So that's going to go on there. Come down here now. Let me show you so far. So we got the, the grill and lights, we got the firewall, we got the side post and we actually got a comfy seat. And the uh, birds can sing. So we're about to start gluing things together now. This is the uh, the suicide door. That goes on there like that. We want a cushion for your butt. That goes in there. Let's get it all in there first and we can line it all up. We have a suicide door. The steering wheel in after. The uh, firewall which I've put a dashboard on and even got a glove compartment. So she's looking a bit like that at the moment. We're getting ready to stick the motor in. We get a nice little windscreen now. I want a windscreen slightly tilted. I did my windscreen I, and I, I had to do a split screen. I don't know why. I've never seen one of these vehicles. But I would have a split screen if I had one. Not as if you can see anything through the bloody windows anyway, so you've got a big engine stuck in front of your head. That's going to go there. Now, 
We want one dirty great mother tucking engine in there. So we've started uh, building the engine. Could I put some pipes in the side? That's what it's looking like. It's not great, but it's close. It's close. Mine's got to go faster than Captain Captain Kirk's jerks. That's the easiest engine I ever worked on. I've got an hole in it in case we want to put a a pipe in. I think that pipe is purely just to give this extra strength for when your kid is ramming it up against the wall. If you know what I mean. Which I dare say you do. So. Right there. Fits my hole. With no jokes. Engine's gonna come a bit forward. A little glue in there. I think that might be too long now, but we'll try it. Got a clamp. Leave that for a little bit. What else we got to do? My apologies. I turned around and the battery was gone. Because they just don't build camcorders like they used to. Uh, we got the engine in. There she is in all its former glory. Nice engine in it. I have put room to get a fan belt in there if, if need be brake pedal and accelerator I got a solid steering wheel because I think I'll put number plates on these ass throw that wide up horrible fucking Brad Max I'll get this glue out, yeah boys, we're going to have trouble sticking things in later. We want into the roof about three and a half, we do nicely. Three and a half by, we're going to bring the roof out a bit? Yeah. Three and a half by three and three quarters. Three and a half, three and three quarters. So from there to about there, we're going to chamfer that right off. We're going to chamfer around the edges. We're going to chamfer the back. We're going to chamfer the sides. We're having a big, big chamfer on the front there. Which 
did something like that. I don't know whether to make that roof so it comes off so we can hide stuff in there. What do you think? Tippity two ta, tippity tay. Lift that up and beat it in today. Is so far. Do you think we could do a burnout with it? Uh, the engine runs pretty well. And bump it up against that big block. And we'll get you in focus here and we'll try and do a burnout. jaw limit and I didn't want a jaw shooting out and slapping me around the side of the head so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way is to get a drill stick it in a drill and do it like that fit lovely. So I've got steely wheels. Spiders. Spiders from Mars. That's, that's all I want is that's just a little this is a fat doll. I've just cut two little bits like that. And what I'm going to do is oblong them. Oblong them. Oblong. I just oblonged them. So it's a little bit of glue down there. And that is going to go on there. Exactly like that. Right, that goes on there like that. Okay. Shorter it gets, 
side of the work. Don't put too much muscle on it. Right, it definitely has a diamond effect on it. It's going to go on there. I like it, I lump it, that's where it's going. There's my number plate. We could write jerk on there. Captain Jerk. That's level square looking good. I'll do me. It'll do me, boss. you again my friends there she is it's a bit of a lump have to find somewhere for it to go but uh, needs a bit of sanding down but don't get put off uh, there's plenty of other types you can do you don't have to do a, a rat rod you can do anything you want to do what I find is as soon as you've got the wheels on some sort of chassis it, it just all comes together. I didn't do underneath. I didn't do the the sump transmission gearbox. Call it what you want. Prop shafts, differential, spring hangers, wishbones. I didn't do none of that. It's purely all my stuff sits there like that. So go on the old internet, find a car you like, and go and copy it. Till the next time.